Hello Grade 7s. Today we will be talking about properties of materials. This is Natural Science Grade 7. First we need to look at the physical properties and to do this we need to answer the question what is matter? It is the word used to describe all substances and materials of which our world is composed. The definition is matter is everything that has mass and occupies space. What is the physical property of matter? The physical property of matter is a property that can be changed without changing the identity, the what it is, or the chemical composition, the what it's made of, of the material. Let's take a look at an example. The example is cheese. We can grate cheese, but it's still cheese. The identity and chemical composition doesn't change. Now we'll take a look at the physical properties of materials. Each type of material has specific physical properties which allows it to be used in specific circumstances. For example, flexibility, strength, boiling and melting points, heat conductivity, and electrical conductivity. The first physical material that we will look at is that of strength. All materials consist of small particles that are held together by bonds or forces. These forces are attraction forces. It can be described as the glue that holds the particles together. The measure of physical force needed to overcome these attraction forces is called the strength of the material. Strength is the ability of a material to withstand an applied stress without failure before it will break or be crushed. Next, we take a look at flexibility. Certain substances can be bent several times without breaking. This property is called flexibility. Flexibility is the ability to bend or be bent repeatedly without breaking. Next, we look at boiling and melting points. In grade 5 and 6, you learned that there are three states or phases of matter, namely solids, liquids and gases. When a substance changes from a solid to a liquid, we say it melts. When a liquid quickly changes to a gas, we say it's boiling. Each substance has its own unique boiling and melting points, depending on the strength of the forces between the particles of each substance. The stronger the forces of attraction between the particles of a substance, the higher its melting and boiling points will be. Remember the different states of matter? A solid, a liquid and a gas. What are the boiling and melting points of a substance? We can define it as follows. Boiling point is the temperature at which a liquid quickly changes to a gas. And melting point is the temperature at which a solid changes to a liquid. Electrical conductivity. Certain materials can conduct electricity. What is an electrical conductivity? It can be defined as the ability of a material to conduct electricity. A material that allows an electrical current to flow through, it is called a good electrical conductor. A material that does not allow a current to pass through is called an insulator. Metals are good conductors of electricity, while non-metals are almost always poor conductors of electricity. Next, we look at heat conductivity. There are certain substances that will heat up easily if exposed to heat. We call this property heat conductivity. Heat conductivity is the ability of materials to heat up and pass the heat on. And this then concludes our lesson in natural science about physical properties and materials.